All right, so with all the drama going on right now with the gigabyte cards cracking and a lot of people worried about GPU sag, I'm gonna show you how to avoid that and what you should do. So if you have a GPU that is a bigger GPU, it's gonna sag. All GPUs are gonna sag to a certain extent. And they plug in to the PCI slot right here. Where you're seeing them all break is in this corner right here. You're actually gonna have a lot of stress on this corner because when you plug it in the slot, it doesn't sag like this because you've got a bracket over here. It actually sags this way. And that part right here is the first one that's gonna see all the pressure. If it was sagging this way, you'd see the pressure and the cracks on this side. There's a reason you never, ever, ever see them cracked on this side over here. You always see the cracks here. Why do you think that is? It's not the brand, it's not the model, it's not the manufacturer's fault, it's an industry standard problem. If you sand down this black spot right here, the coating over this PCB, you'll get down to multiple layers of the PCB and multiple layers of those will show the copper traces that span the whole width. AMD, Nvidia, they all do it. They all do it. It's not one brand that's doing it. Gigabyte, all of them, they use absolutely the same PCBs for the most part as far as reference design goes. So anyways, put your support stick right here. This one is adjustable from Asus. Um, they put these in with all their cards. I'm gonna let that go a little bit and you saw it drop down a little, boom. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the stress off the GPU and letting it rest up a little bit. You don't wanna put too much force on it, but you wanna find its natural position. Um, you know, that way it's pretty even. So you can see there's a little bit of flex right here. It's a pretty hefty card. These little support sticks you can find online pretty cheap. I highly recommend getting you one. That way you can prevent putting too much stress on the corner of your PCB and you won't have your graphics cards spontaneously crack. All these people who are showing cracked graphics cards and saying it just happened out of nowhere, I've seen these people's rigs. I've seen what happens um, over time. Generally, six months to a year later, that's when you'll notice the issue because you've been putting the stress on that spot over six months, and it's just slowly gotten worse and started to crack. A lot of these people are like, oh, I didn't do anything to it. It just happened all on its own. You know, it's just going to happen to yours. Your GPU is just going to crack. Well, every person that I've seen have this crack, they were not using a support bracket at all. Show me one person that it happened to where they were using a support bracket right here in this corner, and I'll change my mind. But until then, Gigabyte is not really the only ones that it's happened to. Just go on Reddit um, and type in cracked GPU. You'll see every brand out there this has happened to. Go on eBay and type in cracked GPU and look at sold listings and look at the photos. Zoom in to where they're all showing you the crack is. And guess what? They're all right here. I'm telling you, it's not a gigabyte problem. Also, if you look at the latest Jay's Two Cents video where he measured the PCB thickness, he actually moved his calipers um, as he was pulling them away so he measured it but then he moved it away like that and it changed the measurement of it so be careful when you jump on the bandwagon of canceling a brand and make sure you have the data to back it up before you start spreading rumors because it's not just a gigabyte thing it's an industry standard thing until they change this connector we're going to keep seeing these issues these cards they're just too heavy to support the weight on that pci slot that's where all your weight's going so until next time my friends have a good afternoon, good evening, or good night.